Finding Your Flow with Daryl Trimmer. I'm Daryl Trimmer. I've been practicing yoga for the last 12 years. My main style of practice is vinyasa. All right, well, today we are going to be working through more of opening up the stuff on the front of our bodies. All right, so you can think about some stuff for the front of the legs and for the shoulders. All right, so we'll get started. Uh, in this little kneeling position here, sitting on the heels or a block in between the heels or two blocks if you need it. And I'm going to start with that block here. Right? Sitting up nice and tall. All right, we're going to take the right arm out to the side. Right? And I want you to close your hand a little bit. Have the eye of the elbow now starting to point up towards the ceiling. All right, so we find that little external rotation here. And then we're going to start to rotate that eye of the elbow forward and then down towards the floor without rolling the shoulder over. And we're going to continue. Same thing, just finding a little bit of rotation with the eye of the elbow trying to point back behind us. And then some rotation the other way, eye of the elbow pointing forward and down. And a couple more just like that. I'm thinking about squeezing a little bit at the end to find some space. And we'll go for one more round here. And next time that eye of the elbow is pointing down towards the floor, we're going to keep it down, reach the arm back behind without trying to let the torso move or follow along with it. Again, once we have that arm back, we're going to do the same thing. Eye of the elbow is now going to point out and then up towards the ceiling, finding that rotation here, and then we'll rotate back the other way. So giving ourselves a little bit of a look for the shoulder, assessing to see how it feels, whether the stuff feels choppy or a little bit smooth like butter through those rotations. And we'll go for one more. And then we'll relax the arm down and shake it out if you need. And then same thing on that left side. So as we continue to sit up nice and tall, bring the left arm out. We'll close your hands. We'll think eye of the elbow here, starting to point up towards the ceiling and then trying to press back behind us, right? And then we'll go the other way. So the eye of the elbow is going to work to point forward and then down. Again, watch to make sure that we're not folding the shoulder. And then same. Again, rotate going the other way. And then slowly and steadily, eye of the elbow pointing forward, and then down towards the floor, and then changing again. And last one. So again, next time that eye of the elbow is pointing down to the floor, keep everything the same, stay facing forward, take the left arm back a little bit. And then once we're here, again, eye of the elbow is going to try to point up towards the ceiling. And then eye of the elbow is going to work to point down and then behind us. And again, rotating it the other way. And going nice and slow. And remember the intention here is to try to create some space each time that we rotate. And again, we'll go for just one more. Next time we get that eye of the elbow trying to point down, squeeze at the end, relax the arm, give a little shake if you need. We're going to come off of the block and off of the heels, lift the hips, and we'll step the right leg forward. Bring the hands onto the waist. And I want you to imagine that you have a beach ball on your back, and the only way that we're going to hold that beach ball in place is by hugging it with the elbows. All right. Now, as we're starting to shift the hips forward, right, I want you to think now, trying to squeeze those legs together, like we're going to shorten up the mat. And as we bring the hips back, we're going to work to push the floor away with that right foot, and even with that left leg, trying to lengthen the mat here. Again, as we come forward, you're going to work to pull those legs towards one another, working to shorten up the mat. Right heel's trying to squeeze back. And now you're going to try to lengthening the mat, pushing the right foot forward. And a couple more just like that, continuing to move in and out. And last one.
on here. So next time that we're down, we're gonna keep this. Again, those elbows are hugging back. Elbows continue to squeeze into that beach ball. Reach the arms back with that same intention of hugging the beach ball. Interlace the fingers. Push the knuckles down towards the floor. Think about the breastbone lifting up. And imagining even now that that beach ball is now popped, that we're squeezing it with those elbows, that we've now got a pencil on our spine. And we're trying to hold that pencil in place with your shoulder blades. Good, just another breath. And we'll relax the arms. And bring the hands down. And again, I'm gonna give you a couple of options here. One of the options is to sit on top of a block with the right foot just in front. If you wanna go a little bit further, you can think about the heel to the outside of the hip as we sit down to the floor. This right foot can still be down exactly where it is, right? Knee stays bent. And then if you want to go a little further, you can always take the hands back a little bit further, maybe forearms to the floor. Continuing to think about gluing the knee down into the mat. And if you still want to go a little further and you have that space and everything is agreeable with the leg, we can start to lie down onto the shoulder. Right? Think about creating a nice little stretch through the front of that left leg. And then no matter where we are, right, in order to accentuate that stretch, we'll squeeze the butt and then work to really push the knee down into the floor. And we'll straighten that right leg. And once that right leg gets straight, we're going to roll onto our right side. So however you get there, if you're on your block, you come off of the block, we roll onto the right side. And so you can see, we'll give a little adjustment here. And as we roll onto the right, right we'll take the hand just underneath the head, and we'll grab onto that left ankle with the left hand. Right, you can have a little bit more of a bend in that right knee to give you some more support and balance. Heel comes in towards the hip. You're going to start to push that left knee back a little bit. So the same sensation, that same stretch through the front of the left leg is what we're trying to get here. And, and then once that heel comes in, now we're going to start to push the foot into the hand. Like we're trying to straighten the leg. And once that arm becomes straight here, the leg's still going to stay bent. Some of you that might want to arch the back a little bit can find a little bit more of a back bend. Think about the lower ribs pressing forward, that left knee continuing to push back behind as we work to give that kick into the hand just as we've been doing since the start. Good, just another breath here. And we're gonna release, relax the leg, lie down on the back. We're gonna take that left foot towards the ceiling. And just giving yourselves a little tour of your room. And you're gonna interlace the fingers behind the back, press the leg into the hands. All right, so now we're trying to work a little bit on creating some stretch, but also some strength in the back of the leg as we work to push the leg away from us. Bend the left knee. We're going to take the left foot down to the floor. And we're going to pull ourselves up to sit. Once we get ourselves up to sit, use your hands if you need. You're going to press yourself up. Take the left knee down and then take the right knee down. So again, we're back in this position here. And of course, readjust yourselves on the mat if you need. Right, we're going to step the left foot forward this time. Right leg is going to be back. Now take the hands on to the waist. Again, like you've got your beach ball here, hug the beach ball with the elbows. 
Right. As we start to pull your hip forward, think shortening up the mat. Left heel is trying to scrape back. Right knee is trying to pull forward. And as we bring the hip back, think lengthening the mat, pushing everything away. Again, think shortening of the mat. Hip goes forward. Again, think pulling everything away or pushing everything away as we bring the hips back in. Pulling in and then pushing away. The last one, next time that those hips are forward here, we continue to hug that beach ball if we lost it at any point. And as you continue to squeeze the beach ball, reach the arms back. Good. Interlace the fingers, push the knuckles down towards the floor. Now imagining that that pencil is resting on your spine, the only way to hold it in place is with your shoulder blades. Drive the knuckles down towards the floor. Let's still think about shortening up that mat. So as we are continuing to press that front of the right hip forward, left heel still pulling back. And just another breath here. And then relax everything. Again, same thing. As you take the hip back, right, we can always sit on a block just to the inside of the heel. And we can sit up tall and relax there. Again, the other options are to sit down to the inside of that right heel, maybe sitting up tall or maybe coming back onto the hands, forearms, or even onto those shoulders. And again, no matter which position or option that we choose, whether it was one through seven, right? think no pain in the knee, no pain in the top of the foot or anywhere else. Knees trying to push down into the floor. We're working for that stretch just through the front of the leg, and then maybe giving that little squeeze to your butt. Right, and again, that should a little squeeze to the butt should work to accentuate some stretch through the front of that right leg. And we'll get the left leg straight. Again, if you're sitting tall on your block and come off of the block, we'll end up on our left side as you roll to the left. You can take the left hand just underneath the head, bend the left knee a little bit here, and we'll take the right leg back. Hold onto the right ankle, pull the knee back, take the heel in towards the hip. And again, same thing, that little stretch through the front of the right leg. And then once it gets here, start to give a kick. Foot pushes into the hand. And as you're kicking, start to straighten the right arm. So the right heel's gonna come away from the hip a little bit. Good. And then again, if you'd like that little back bend here, and you think knee going back a little bit further, pushing the chest forward. And for some of us, the hardest part is just to Find your balance as you're here. And then we're going to relax that. Lie down on your back. Same right leg. Reach the right leg up towards the ceiling. Interlace the fingers behind it. And again, give a little bit of a push here. Pressing the hand or pressing the leg into the hands. Like you're trying to move the leg away from the body. one we're gonna relax bring the right foot down and we'll take that left foot on the floor as well bending both knees take the feet at a nice wide hip distance apart maybe in line with the shoulders All right as those heels push down to the floor I want the lower back to press into the mat squeeze the butt lift the hips we're gonna take the arms behind us Interlace the fingers as we roll up onto the shoulder. Take the pinky side of the hands, 
dig it into the floor. Again, imagining that that pencil is still on the spine, shoulder blades are trying to squeeze it to hold it in place. Just another breath here. Again, you can release the hands, take them right to the side, and slowly lower the hips down to the floor. And we're going to walk your feet onto the floor, so just off of the mat. The arms can be a little bit more off to the side, just so we don't have the knees pushing into the hands. We'll start to windshield wipe the legs, just moving the knees from left to right. As always, going slow through these windshield wipers, like it's a light drizzle outside. And the slowness gives us a chance to feel, gives us a chance to actually use our muscles and not just throw our joints around. And wherever we are, we'll bring the legs back to the center, we'll bring the Feet again back into that original position that they were in. Knees just over top of the heels or ankles. Right as you prepare, we're going to push the lower back down into the floor for that second bridge. Squeeze the butt, lift the hips, drive the heels down, roll onto the shoulders. Again, interlace the fingers behind the back. Push the pinky side of your hands down into the floor. And squeeze the shoulder blades together like you're trying to hold that pencil on your spine. And even as those hips are up, don't just think about loose butt. Continue to squeeze. Think breastbone pulling in towards your chin. All right, so giving us that support through that whole posterior chain. And then nice and steady. Again, you see release the hands, take them off to the side, lower the hips slowly to the floor. And again, you're going to bring those feet off of the mats onto your floor, and then give that little windshield wiper again from left to right. Again, just taking your time. Remember, as the knees go to one side, the opposite hip can lift. We might find a little bit of rotation or twist in the spine. Again, just finishing up this, wherever you are. Again, we'll make our way back into the center and bring those feet back to where they were. We're going to end up the third time for these bridges. Again, preparing, using the stuff on the front, right? Push the lower back down into the floor. Use that mat as your feedback. Squeeze the butt, lift the hips, and roll up onto the shoulders, interlace the fingers, press the pinky side of the hands down into the floor, and again, continue as you Drive those pinkies down to squeeze the butt. You can think breastbone, lifting, and trying to push into your chin. And again, as we hang out here, should be that whole backside that's engaged and having a little bit of work and effort to it. And again, as we relax, you can take the arms out, lower the hips down to the floor. Again, bring those feet back onto the floor, off of the mat. Again, windshield wipering from left to right.
And especially as you do things a couple of times in a row with a little bit of space between, is there any difference as to how these feel from the first time we did them, from the second, and then into the third? Again, we'll bring everything back into the center. And we'll take the legs, hug them in. Can be towards the shoulders, can be together and in towards the body, but if there's any pinching in the front of the hip, then we just go around that and just take the knees a little bit further out to the side so we avoid any sort of pinching or pain on a closing angle. Uh, just another breath here. Release the legs. We're going to bring the feet down. Roll off to one side, left or right. And then we'll push ourselves up to sit. And once we get into that seated position, we'll end up into a tabletop. So again, coming to all fours, just using a little bit of transitions here. Taking that right foot in between the hands. Good. Come on to fingertips, or again, if you have your blocks handy, right, we have those blocks just underneath the hands, pushing them down. Create pillars of support through the arms. Think breastbone lifting up a little bit here as well. well. Just like we've been doing, those feet are trying to squeeze to shorten up the mat. Keep everything the same. We're going to bring the arms up towards the ceiling. And as those arms stretch up, continue to think about squeezing to shorten the mat. I'm going to take your left toes. We're going to tuck the left toes under. As those left toes tuck under, lift the left knee up. Good. As you take your pause here, again, same strong legs that we've had throughout. And bringing that left knee slowly down to the floor. Taking the right hands down to the block or to the floor. Stepping the right knee back. And then as we change, step the left foot between the hands. Again, stay on your blocks or on the floor. Right knee can slide back a little bit if it needs. Push down. Lift the chest up. And again, think as you squeeze those inner legs together, Imagine that you're trying to shorten your mat. And tuck your right toes. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling. And then nice and steady with those right toes tucked. Lift the right knee up. Good, nice and strong. Squeeze again. Imagine that you're floating up and away from the floor. And then nice and steady again. Lowering that right knee back down. Taking the hands onto the floor or blocks. Stepping the left knee back. And if those blocks are there, you can place them off to the side. And we'll cross your shins behind. Roll the legs forward. And so we have those legs out in front. And as those legs come out in front, we'll find our Sukhasana, nice easy pose, left ankle underneath the right knee, cross at your shins. Good. Keep the breastbone lifted here. We're going to take the right hand just behind the right hip, left hand to the outside of the right knee. Same thing we've been doing, lift the breastbone up, rotate to the right, just think about squeezing that stuff on your right side to help to guide the movement through the twist. And as always, that right hand is down behind you for support, right? Think about it as helping to lengthen the spine, sitting up nice and tall. And we'll change. Again, as you rotate 
left hand down just behind the hip, right hand to the outside of that right left leg, push down, lift the breastbone up, squeeze the stuff on that left side to help you rotate. And as we come back into the center, we're going to separate those feet. Think ankles in line with the knees, the knees off at about a 35 degree angle. And if you need here, if you find that you're rounding back, you can place a block underneath your hips. Give yourself a little bit of height away from the floor, arms just to the inside of the legs. Lift the breastbone up and work to pull forward. You should be feeling that around this area of your legs. And those toes can just gently point away from one another in opposite directions. Uh, just taking another breath here. And coming up. Lie down on your back. Again, we'll hug those legs in, maybe knees towards the shoulders, maybe legs in towards each other. Again, whichever is comfortable, just hold it there for a moment. And nice and slowly, we're gonna release the legs, bring them straight onto the floor arms next to the sides and close the eyes again as always please take a little bit of time for yourself at the end about five minutes or so just to be within your own thank you so much for joining look forward to seeing you next time